you beautiful people of the internet. It's me, the Chun Yun Main, here to ask you an important question. You know, I'm wondering if Nouvellet's bath water would actually take me out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today, for science and the health of all viewers, we are going to be ranking every five star character's burst on whether or not I would survive it. First things first, ladies and gentlemen, we need to define our tears. S will be obliterated. Would likely die. 50% chance of survival would likely live and then would definitely live. I think this covers everything, chat. It's time to see how the old Johnster would stand toe to toe with the boyos. We're starting off with good old Gene. Listen, if I still had my asthma like I did when I was a youth and my throat could swell up from allergens, then maybe I would die. But all I need is a Benadryl and I'm living. In fact, wouldn't that heal me? There might be a couple of sneezes. I might be slightly congested, but nevertheless, we would be unscathed. Mr. D. Luke. So I know what you're thinking. Jonathan, how do you expect to survive a wall of flames? The answer is I don't know. But if we really wanted to get into the nitty gritty of this, wouldn't all I have to do is duck? I may, might be no scientist, but I'm pretty sure that bird is moving at like four miles an hour. Even if a wall of flames passes through you, I think you would still live from that. It would hurt. It'd be terrible. You'd have like third degree burns. All right, D. Luke would likely live. We're on to Klee, the spark knight. Does Klee's alt not have a big boom? Oh, it's the lasers. It casts the lasers that chase you down. Ah, I see. I think it's safe to say I am deceased. And the fact that it auto aims too. I think Klee, the Archon of Death, is our first one who gives us a zero chance of survival. Mona! This is so funny to just watch them squirming. You're suspended in air and then a water explosion. How intense is that water explosion though? Like, are we talking that it, it just shreds me apart and I'm gone? Or are we talking that it's just like a little splash? Seeing as how her all alone doesn't often kill people, I think as long as the water doesn't cause any internal organ damage that results in my demise or my face, you know, the money maker. I just couldn't live if I didn't have my beautiful... Okay, I'm sorry. I think I could die, but I think I would likely live. Albedo, what you got, flower boy? Wait, what is that one? So the question is, would I survive a rock dagger being violently pushed at me plus an array of basically a grenade? Do you see how fast that thing pops out? That's like you're getting hit with a 100 mile an hour semi truck. You don't even make it to the grenade parts. I think you just instantly die. I'm not sure if the sub ranking is gonna matter. We're just gonna put him there for now. Eula! Will be mine. Can a man live without his lower torso? Her sword gets bigger. There's a frame of her cutting into time and space right there. I think Eula has enacted vengeance on my booty for I am deceased. I think I am dead. Not to mention, man, she's a very beautiful, strong lady. So I would be naturally anxious and intimidated by her anyway. I would be stuttering over my words, trying to think of what to say to her while she cuts me in half. Everyone say goodbye to me. Oh! 50. one be wanting the alcoholic, the mad Johnster versus Vinti Archon of Alcohol and Freedom. What happens? Does he shoot an actual arrow? I think it's just win. And then you're swirled into a vortex. Regardless, I'm up there for six seconds, taking some wind slashes, get a couple of cuts and bruises. And then, cause it's not a real arrow either. It's basically just a big old wind gust. It's like Vinti farted and it sucked you in. Okay, that's a terrible, I'm so sorry for saying that. It's literally a black hole. I don't think it's literally a black hole cause then everyone's instantly dead. This is like a con concentrated wind vacuum. You know what? Let's put him as our first 50-50 cause the slashes might kill me. The enemy of my 50-50s ladies and gentlemen the sword master cutching so chat i would not only die i think i would be turned into sashimi i think i would be served on a conveyor belt maybe paired with a nice bottle of uh sake sounds delicious hey don't talk about me like that not only does she instantly teleport onto you these happen at lightning speed i think there's a zero percent statistical chance i would survive 
Not to mention the big slash at the end. Goodbye. That is the end of my tale. I got, I done got cutchined. Oh, Chi-Chi. Will I be killed by the dead girl? I think frostbite's the worst case scenario. The ground is instantly frosted, but that could just be cold. Do you see how fast it goes away? I think I would likely live. You might slip. The only situation if I die in this is if I'm walking while she alts and I slip and I land on my neck and die. But I think I would live. Chi-Chi's arch nemesis, Hu Tao. <laughs> Chat, okay, listen, I'm, I may lack experience. I'm not sure if anyone, I've never been smacked in the face with a ghost before. We got a swirl of flames and then getting smacked with a fiery ghost. I would definitely most likely die. Even if there's a 5%, a 1% chance I live, chat, it's will most likely die. That fire looks intense, man. I'm not sure how hot something's gotta be. It's better than Deluxe because I have no time to react to it. It's definitely hitting me. And then I'm getting smacked in the face with a ghost. How much does that ghost weigh? Is it 200 pounds? Is it two tons? So we're gonna have to cut even. I think Hu Tao's alt will likely kill me. Gone you! Okay. The thing is, if one of those icicles hits me, I am dead. I have frostbite instantly, and we can also run out of it. I think it's a gamba. I think I clinch my butt cheeks, I turn around, I sprint, and if the RNG is with me, if I win the 50-50, I live. I think that puts us in the 50-50 category on surviving gone use. Anti it It's my love, my lady! I think I'm 100% dead. She pulls out her ghost demon, which is basically the, her incarnate murderous intent, which immediately does a hacha! Big icy explosion of death led by a spear. If there's some miracle occurs that I survive that, then I have to deal with another instant slash. Chat, keep in mind, these aren't wind gusts. These are all spear slashes. I think I'm guaranteed dead. And honestly, it would be an honor. I would be proud to die at Shinha's head. <laughs> The doctor is in. Mr. Baiju, what you got? There's a lot at play here. First off, the initial thing, Dendro. I think I would live, but it also shoots little Dendro darts at me. I think there's a 99% chance I'd live, but then again, it's Baiju, man. And if anything, I could just run away from Baiju. What's the man gonna do? If he coughs one more time, he dies. All I have to do is sneeze on him, push him over. <laughs> We'll put would likely survive. All right, Zhao's. What are we counting here as the alt? I think we should count the spear barrage as the alt and leave it at that. Like right here. His actual alt is moon boots. His actual alt is a sailor moon transition. It's the start to an emo song. It's like the voice is in my head. Matches the mask on my face. I'm in pain. <laughs> Minus the Sailor Moon transition. Would I survive the spear barrage? Just the spears. Let's let's cut Zhao out of it. Statistically, worst case scenario is that's probably gonna hit my arm. I think I, that would still die though, with the force those things are coming down. I think we're throwing him in 50-50. Yay lawns! We're not counting the dice cube because the dice cube itself, you got to auto attack. A bunch of streams of water coming down to restrain me. I'd be a little flustered and intimidated. Like, ooh, is she going to step on me? Oh, sorry. I think these would actually do some damage to us if it hit us directly. Dude, water at high pressure like this will cut you up for sure. I think it will cut me. I 100% agree with that, Zeppi. If that hits me, it will injure us. But I think in general, it is more likely if I was a betting man, I would bet on the Johnster. That's right, baby. We live. Uh, Mr. Tartaglia! I know he's literally shooting an arrow, but it literally looks like he's throwing a water balloon. Why does it look the least intimidating? It's little impact looks like a little splash. All right, let's see the water spear. I think it's safe to say the force of these that's implied, I would most likely die. Not even to mention, if it doesn't slice me, chat, I'd probably get flung like 30 feet into the air. I don't think I would live. Daddy Zhongli, let's see. Hmm, this is gonna be a hard one, chat. I will have order. I think we can, uh, I think we can move on. If I somehow miraculously survived the literal planet, I just get turned into stone, I would still die. I'm bumping child down just because of Zhongli. I'm sorry. My cheeks have been clapped by Zhongli's meatball. And that is not something you'll hear on the internet every day, ladies and gentlemen. Sangona Mia wore criminal Kokomi. She killed her people, but will she kill me?
I'm so sorry. I'm so, that's so much Kokomi slander. I would clap. <laughs> it would be like, bravo. Yeah, that was cool. Do it again. The thing is, the blast is like in slow motion. That's why I'm so convinced I would utterly live. Yoimiya! This is funny because this is similar to Kokomi's, except I would clap and then I would die. <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> That's just a firework? My brother in Christ, that is a bomb. Is there a chance I could live though? Or you know what? Maybe if it, it is just a firework, it's also attached to an arrow. If the arrow hits me, I'm instantly dead. I think it's safe to put her in the would likely die category. Kazuha! There's no chance I would live in this scenario because see, chat's actually giving me, they think I would live more so than I, oh, it is wind though. He's shooting wind blasts. How fast is that wind hitting me? It's only leaves. That's true, it's only leaves. It's only the maple leaves. Wait a minute. It's a Canadian attack, chat, which that means I instantly live. Canadian debuff, they're too kind to kill me. I live, moving on, just kidding. Where we put him? Let's throw him in the 50-50. Kami Sato, ay ay Kami Sato Does he slash with his blade? I don't think he's actually attacking with the blade. He's more creating this. Get the shampoo. <laughs> it is a shower. That is nice. Bust out the shampoo and conditioner. No, it makes the field. Genshin player showering. Yeah, dead. Oh, that's a good point. We forgot about the shower debuff. That's a KO if I've ever seen one. No, I think I would just live. If the slash doesn't hit, which is the assumption we're making, because even if those water, those water drops, looks like it's a ton of water and it would knock me on the ground and it would hurt, but I think I would still live. The spear-like drops? No, they look like drops. That's the thing. It looks like the Hydro Dragon is crying. Chat, I'll let you decide. Would definitely live or would likely live? Would likely live? All right, I'll bump him up. Ayaka! Not only am I frozen, but I think I'm also dead. Not only is it cryo incarnate, but it's also a bunch of slashes. And then it explodes at the end. I think I am dead. I'd be alive if I moved to the side. I don't think you have time to dodge it, though. Is there a chance I dodge this, chat? Nope. Nah, it's hit radius in the front is too big. Even if I dove, I would still get sucked into it. I would dive to the side here, and then my legs would get pulled back. I'd be like... Ah! Ah! As I got sucked into the vortex and then proceeded to die. Sorry, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to get too real there. Come on, give me a win. Give me someone who will let me live. Lasts well, this is uh, pretty straightforward, isn't it? <laughs> um, okay, listen, I know what everyone's saying. The thing is, this doesn't even look like a normal lightning strike. It looks like a giga lightning of hell. That's a fatty lightning strike. What is the statistical chance of surviving being struck by lightning? 10% baby, I have a chance. What about four lightning strikes? Wait, are we counting that? You can dodge. No, what? I would not be able to dodge. The first lightning bolt would hit me, which comes down instantly. And also look at that. If I'm anywhere over here, I am being electrocuted. And then I'm hit three more times. This is like, we're talking 0.05% chance. Ito, the one and only. Who wants some of this? So it's basically just the stomp is what we're talking about. If we're counting the club, I am dead after first hit. It literally changes your attacks. That's true. We'll bring it on to Zhao level. We'll do one smack of the club. Who wants some of this? So there's the initial stomp and then smack. Injured but livable. I think you guys are highly underestimating blood force trauma. Not to mention there's a small chance during his stomp at the beginning. There's a small chance one of those rocks gets lodges in the back of my throat and I die too. Even if you include him launching all of those rocks in the air from him stomping, I think I'm 100% dead. One Jesus! Let's see what Mr. Hot Topic does. Remember earlier when we were talking about a black hole? I think that is literally what that is. I think I am dead. My man cuts through the fabrics of time. This man just dropped the universe on top of me. He just said, yeah, Interstellar, I've seen that movie. It's, 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 I think I'm compressed into a pancake. And then after that, I'm sliced into this cuts through space time, apparently. Hold up, Interstellar. I brought up Interstellar. Interstellar science. Science, travel, space travel, space theory, black holes. If he hits me with a black hole, I get sucked into the black hole. Since we don't know what happens when someone goes into a black hole, is there a chance I could be alive? Why? No, I think I'm dead. We're dead. We're moving on. The Raiden Shogun. If I remember right, I think we can survive hers. It's not that bad, right? Just a little bit of lightning. 
I think all that would be left of me is literally my head and my feet. I am actually positive that is all that would remain. Everything else is just gone. That's up there. Tanari! Let's set the scene. I have mild allergies. Let's see what happens. Did he just shoot six heat-seeking missiles that then exploded into six more missiles? Even if those are pine cones, I think I'm dead. Let's say it's this. An arrow wrapped in dendro. If I'm hit with six of those, ain't no way I'm living. Even if I survive, I'm not sure if I would want to live. I'm 100% dead. All right, next. Okay, I guess we do one basic attack here too, right? He does his Sailor Moon transformation. Wait, I kind of want to see this to Sailor Moon music. Yo, editor, editor, eh, eh. Oh my gosh, that was awesome! <laughs> Okay, one claw is what we'll go for. 50-50? Yeah, I think you're overestimating how easy it is. Well, let's see. Those do look like slashes. You would be getting electro-clawed. I think there is a chance I would live. And knowing it's me, I think there's definitely a chance I'd live. Because I'm just so strong. Got my abs. I have my protective blubber, like a seal. <laughs> my protective crust. <laughs> we'll go 50-50. I'll height them. These are like shards of glass. Moving at the speed of bullets. Keep playing. Yeah, we'll do this one. The thing is, chat, there's kind of some gaps in this. They follow the same route. If I'm standing here... Nope. No, I just got killed. I think no matter what, I'm getting hit by one of these. And those beams are thick. Is there a 1% chance I survive? Am I coping? You are coping, but at least I am free. I don't want to die that much. You're telling me, nah, all it takes is getting hit once and I'm dead. But is it certain? I feel like, honestly, I feel like Yaimiko and Alhytham should be on their own tier. Nilu! I think we have another Kokomi situation. I would clap. <laughs> You're basically in the splash zone at a theme park. <laughs> that, that is what happened. If I move, I might slip and crack my head on the concrete. I think there's a 100% chance I live. And I'm happy that it happened. We would clap. We'd be like, bravo, senora. But uh, alas, uh, we, we are definitely alive. Dia, let's see it. All right. Wait. That whole run is her... No, no, no. That's normal attacks. Is it combining normal attacks? Do you auto punch in her alt chat? I forget. The slow one is the auto. Oh, this. I'm gonna be honest, chat. I don't think I'm making it to punch too. We're getting beat down with also flame blasts. That's like concentrated fire. Do you see that? Not to mention the volcano backwards kick at the end. Yeah, dead, dead, still dead. Lost another organ. Dead and dead, but now I'm actually underground. There's... I think I'm dead. 100%. 100% dead. Nahida! Would I survive Nahida's domain expansion? Eternal Carnival! I think I would dance. I wouldn't just survive it. I would thrive. She gives me free housing. Nahida is 100% chance of living. Aloy's alt! Let's see it. She shoots a cryo explosive and then she hits it with her arrow and explodes it. Would we live? I think there's a chance we would live for sure. I'm trying to think, is it a 50 50 chance? Chat, I think it looks like. Ah! I think there's some slim chance we live, depending on how intense the icicles is. Aloy, not bad, girl, not bad. Barina! Ladies and gentlemen, show us what you got, girl. I think we have another clap situation. We would be sad. I'd probably cry and want to give her a hug and be like, hey, it's going to be okay, okay. The only thing that's killing is our emotions. But besides that, I think we 100% live. Good old Lenny. Here comes the finale. Thinking back on my memory of this chat, I thought I would die. But after looking at it, is that cat gonna sit on my face? Is that what's about to happen? <laughs> is it gonna land on me? 
No, he transforms into it and then steamrolls into me. I think it would hit you and then you'd get pushed off to the side. Even if it rolls you over, chat, it does explode a little bit at the end, but it's not like a huge explosion either. I think I would definitely live with some broken bones, chat, and a broken pride. Lenny, the magic man. Next up is Navia. Oh, God. Hiya! Do you see the size of those cannons? Hello? I'm getting hit with cannonballs the size of buildings. This is the explosion, by the way. The screen is entirely white. I'm a thousand percent dead at this point. I don't even make it to stage two. And if I somehow did, then the raining cannonballs of hell will for sure finish me off. We're putting her up here probably at number three. Monsieur Nouvelland. Would we survive? Doesn't it keep shooting? Why does it instantly end? No, honestly, Nubalette can drown me. Okay, okay, hold up. No, listen. We're saying if we would survive it, not if we want to have it done on us, okay? Otherwise, Elon would be S tier. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <clears throat> what are we talking about? This is probably one of the most intimidating volleys of water we have seen from the hydro attacks, but I still think that can hit us. The water is going up. Wait a minute, bust out the replay. Yup, the water is going up. That completely changes it because that will knock you into the air. Yeah, can you survive the pressure of it, but also landing? I think 50 50 is fair. All right, Risley, what you got? Have a safe trip. Yo, I'm not even sure if I'm making it to this part. I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm out in the first half. If you get hit by that, I'm pretty sure you're dead. That's metal. Do you, Chad, do you know how deadly brass knuckles are? And then on top of that, you have the icicles of Satan coming in as the background dancers. And then it explodes in beautiful icy death. You are dead. Should we look at cloud retainers? Honestly, from what I've seen of cloud retainers from the trailer, I would put her at likely survive. Or her alt looks like Baiju's. Wait, no, let me put her back in. Let me put her back! You forgot about Chun Yoon. Okay, you hear that sound? Oh, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the bonus ranking! B -b -b bonus We'll use cloud retainer as Chad Yoon. We gotta end off with the most wonderful, beautiful, handsomest, most powerful boyo. My main Chun Yoon. I think I'm 100% dead. You're getting dropped on by three cryo claymores the size of two-story buildings. Not to mention they all hit the same point. I am dead, and it would be an honor. This would be my Chun Yun ranking. We're using Cloud Retainer as Chun Yun. But that is it. That is the ranking. We did good, chat. I'm proud that we talked about whether I would die or not for the past two hours. Great time. Great time. <laughs> But you know what? It was for science and it was worth it. But that's all. Let me know what you thought of the list down below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.